Tanikaya they react after federal government unleashed army on Eastern Security Network. <laughs> My people, for the past few days, we've been keeping you updated on how Nigerian army and the EFN has clashed in the eastern part of the region, you know, uh, causing so many deaths and all that. Eastern Security Network was launched by IPOB leader Nandekano in a bid to strengthen the security in the eastern part of the country. In the early hours of today, the Nigerian army battled with ESN in the eastern part of the country. The federal government unleashed the army to put an end to the authorized operation of the Eastern Security Unit, just like every other region as its own special force. The independent people of Biafra launched a special force to a couple, a couple of a couple of months ago to regulate crime in the region. Why should the federal government try to, you know? Uh, neutralize ESN that remains the question everyone is asking at the moment. It's pretty clear that the result of this rush decision could turn out negative. Popular Nigerian human activist Femi Fanikayode has reacted to the decision of the federal government to send out the army to tackle ESN. He said, unleashing your army on ESN today was not smart. No matter how many you kill, more will rise up. Trend with caution. Do not bite off more than you can chew. Violent began violent. Both east and west are keys of gunpowder. Do not light the fuse. Seek peace, not war. In his, in his tweet, I read, Unleashing your army on ESN today was not smart. No matter how many you kill, more will rise up. Train with caution. Do not bite off more than you can chew. Violent begets violent. Both east and west are keys of gunpowder. Do not light the fuse. I guess this is a very difficult and a sensitive situation. The federal government needs to manage this well before it turns out into a war between the regions. So, hello viewers. What's your view on this? Okay, someone said here... Yeah, <laughs> Nigerian government is making mistake because what they are trying to do <laughs> we end up uh, becoming another thing. Okay, I don't really get that. Someone said the Nigerian army is uh, is weakest posi position at the moment. This is not the time to wage war in different fronts. It should. It cannot afford to be disgraced. These ESN are funded by foreigners and you don't know their capacity. Please be conscious. Okay, someone said that this is coming from uh, Ikem Oputa. He said, part one, anyone who is afraid to die should not seek to go to heaven. Any, any people who fear war should never attempt to be free. And any ethnic nationality that fears war, however much oppressed it is, should resign itself and never exercise its right to self-determination and thus an, an, an internal legacy of a second-class citizenship is, is, priority, is, is priority. Okay, I did not get that last one. Okay, someone said, yeah, <laughs> what is going on, safe? If you ask me, I don't know why Nigerian government have to deploy uh, Nigerian army to <laughs> in search of ESN. Why we have so many problems, so much problem to deal with. Um, talking about the bandits, you know, terrorizing the north part of the country. Talking about the Boko Haram there. Uh, if you can also recall what is happening in the south east, southwest, you know, there have been issues since last week in on those states when the governor of um governor of on the state governor kirodolu you know gave a, a seven days quit notice to the fulani headers killer killer fulanis okay because uh, we cannot say all of them are the are these criminals you understand so 
we have to train with caution because some persons are bad. That does not mean that uh, all of them are bad. But the, my, my only issue there is that uh, the Fulanese themselves refuse to identify the bad ones, the bad eggs among them. Okay, that is the only issue I have there. You can someone okay. I'm um, all right. Sorry, but well, that I am. I'm just asking, answering a question. Someone asked here. So what is going on? We're talking about the the uh, Fulani Hesmen, the killer Fulani Hesmen that be terrorizing Nigeria. Uh, the Eastern Security Network was launched, you know, to protect the lives of their citizens there, the resident there, and all that. So. Though the, the Nigerian government did not authorize it, and this is the problem. This is just the problem. Okay, so I've answered that. Someone said that Nigerian army has turned itself as the weakest army of the world. Fanikaya Day, it's again always wants to be the social media. Are you responsible a bit now as to stop fighting journalists and preparing uh, for marriage? <laughs> I don't know why that have to come in here. Okay, someone said, yeah, any satana in the humming joining these people to fight years and should be aware. Buari come into power to end Nigeria as a country. ESN men and women are ready to sacrifice their lives for Igbo land. Guys are waiting for another box of uh, recruitment to join. Wow. Okay, someone said, yeah, what a big mistake I made to follow uh, this, to follow votes for this president administration. Uh, this president administration, sorry about that, it needed a, it's indeed a disappointment from the highest order. Okay, someone said the action of Nigerian Hami has only reduced its name from Nigerian Hami to federal military talks or Boaris talks. So hello guys, uh, let me not bore you that much. I'm going to drop it here for now. What's your view on this? Let's hear from you. Kindly leave your opinion below the comment section. And thank you very much for this coming out here. Please don't forget to give us thumbs up, subscribe and this channel.